Alright YouTubers, what's going on? It's been a while since I did a video. New job's been keeping me busy, so... But, I got some time. I wanted to check out this cool new product from Kershaw. This is the Kershaw Tinder. This was announced at SHOT Show this year. And I was pretty stoked for it to come out. So, it comes like in a blister pack like this. There is no sheath or anything with it. Which is a pretty big disappointment in my opinion, because you've got a sharpened edge here. And, yeah. So... I thought this was going to be a lot bigger. I thought it was going to be more like a full-size hatchet, kind of more like the Fiskars X7 here. And you can see it's teeny, very small tool. So we're going to see how useful it is. Um, it's got your, you know, your hatchet edge here. You've got some hex, um, what do you call them, wrench? Hex tools, they call them. you got your hammer end. You might hear my dogs playing in the background. So you got your hammer end here, which I think can be useful in the campsite and um, you've got a pry bar and a nail puller. You've also got a bottle opener. So it's definitely like a multi-tool type thing. We're gonna see how useful it would be kind of in the campsite, you know, maybe in a bug out bag, something like that. It would be a useful tool. So we're gonna do some tests here. So stay tuned. Okay, it's one of the obvious things we're gonna know is does it process wood? Before I film this video, I actually broke down this pretty decent sized log with the tinder. So it can, it's not gonna be a great chopper. Um, but it can split wood. I actually used it, I actually batoned with this. I kind of, just like I would a knife. So, you know, it is what it is. Here's a, a, a decent sized log here, and we'll try to get my baton stick, wherever that went. I'll try to, you know, maybe baton through this, but you can see here, you don't have a lot of leverage to really like chop into the wood. I mean, you can, this is a pretty hard piece of wood too. It's pretty dry, but you don't, you know, you just don't get, as a chopper, it's not going to chop that well. Um, let's try this one, see if this one's not so good. There we go. So you, I mean, you can chop with it if you needed to. Some kind of small chopping task. Works fine. Not the greatest. Um, there's going to be things that work better. But, you know, in a pinch, it might be a good tool. So we're going to try to baton this log, this little guy. We'll use this stick. You can see it actually works pretty well. Um, this is a pretty good sized log, too. And the, the hammer end here works pretty well for batoning because you can really strike that really well so look at that we have ourselves a split log here so it is functional it works for that kind of stuff i just split that pretty good sized log with it so you know uh, could a knife do the same job yeah a good fixed blade could do the same job as that but you know this is kind of a multi-use tool so if you want to make it down into smaller wood like i did doesn't like to stay in there very well. It is a pretty small. Get out of your skeeter. Got him. So, I mean, a, a wider knife blade is going to do a little bit better job because it's going to stay in there a little better, but. There you go. So it doesn't really have any problem processing wood. So that's you know, that's one useful tool. So let's test out how it works with the um, the hammer part. And the first thing that came to mind is having this around as like a little camp hatchet and being able to, uh, you know, to nail in your stakes and such with that. So let's test that out. All right, so we got a little, just a, you know, your plastic ABS type stake. The thing I don't like about this is that this is not covered. I mean, not like you're gonna, I guess it could bounce back and hit you, but that's doing a pretty decent job. It's actually beating up that uh, stake pretty good.
Hey, look. Yeah, stake puller. <laughs> Another use. So yeah, it'd be good to hammer uh, your tent stakes in. Okay, we'll test the uh, nail puller and then hammer. Here. Not the best hammer, you don't have a lot of circumference there, it's real skinny, but let's try the nail puller. Yeah, nail puller works good, so pretty well thought out tool. It, it functions for a lot of different uses got the nail puller the hammer it'd be nice if this was a little wider thicker you know so you could kind of use it more as a hammer hammer but in a pinch it'll do as a multi-tool um, you've got the uh, bottle opener which I don't have any bottles handy but I'm sure it does a great job of that and then you can also use it as a pry bar so it's got a lot of different uses um, don't have any screws or nuts handy for the, to use the hex but I can imagine you get a pretty good amount of leverage you know, getting that in there, you got a 0.75, a half inch, uh, 0.375 and a quarter inch hex drive. So you, you know, if you needed that, you could really get some good leverage with that. It's got a nice grip texture here. Um, it looks like, yeah, there's, there is, it is removable. It does have the Torx bits there. So we're going to do one more test. Right, so the nice thing about this is you can really choke up on the handle and you can use that part of the hatchet blade as a, Kind of almost as a knife blade to do some fine, <coughs> excuse me, shavings. If you need to make a feather stick, you could do that. The edge came decently sharp, um, so you can kind of choke up on there, and you can do some fine detail work with this if you needed to. So that's another. I mean, because you can choke up so far in that, so that's another use for it. So overall, it's a pretty cool little tool. Um, Runs about thirty-two dollars, thirty bucks, right around there. It's definitely a multi-tool. I wish it would have been bigger. Um, I, I think they went with this size on purpose. Something you could easily throw in your pack. It would have been nice if it came with even like a nylon sheath. That was kind of an afterthought, but definitely a, a useful little tool to have in your pack. Um, you know, if you're just hiking or you're going to camp out or you know you want to put it in your bug out bag, it's definitely useful. I mean. Uh, it's, it's split wood just fine, so you could process firewood. It does allow you to do some fine detail work if you don't want to use your knife to do that. You know, if this is all you had, you could um, use it for quite a few things. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, you know, the, the pry bar functionality is cool. The bottle opener. So it's a cool little multi-tool. Um, for the money, <coughs> there's, it's not the best hatchet, that's for sure. It doesn't have a lot of leverage to, to chop. It will chop if you need it to. It'd be good for clearing small brush, or uh, small you know limbs, um, maybe off of a bigger limb, just you know clearing off the small stuff. You can obviously see I, I split firewood with it, made some smaller fuel, no problem. So it's good for processing that. So in a pinch, it would do the job. And it was good for the tent stakes, so that was a good plus. Um, but for the money, you can get yourself a real hatchet. This Fiskars has a custom Kydex sheet on it. This is one of the best hatchets money can buy, the X7. And it'll, you know, it's got the this end, it'll hammer in the stakes. Um, it's obviously got a much better useful wedge there for uh, splitting wood, processing firewood. Um, I, I did a little hockey tape on there, get a little more grip. So you're going to get a lot more leverage out of a hatchet like this. Um, but you can see the size is pretty considerable difference. I mean, I would have loved to see Kershaw make this tool in this size. I think it would have been the ultimate camp tool. I mean, you would have a nice hatchet with a hammer and your pry bar. So they do have a tomahawk they just came out with that I'm interested in, but it didn't have a hammer end. It has a, you know, a pointy end, um, a spike end, I guess you'd call it. So it, it's not probably as useful as a camp tool. So it would be kind of nice to see this in a larger version. But pretty cool for 30 bucks. You can't go wrong. It is made in China. It's a, a 3 CR13 MOV steel. But I've actually been beating up on it pretty good the last couple days, and it's holding its edge just fine. It's still pretty sharp, I and mean, it probably and it won't shave my arm hair, but it'll, you know, you can and it'll take a keen edge. It'll take an edge really quickly. So it's up to you. I mean, for the money, if you don't have a Fiskars, get that. 
but if you want a, a cool little tool that you can throw in your bug out bag, throw in your pack, um, you know, have with your camp stuff, it is useful definitely. And it, I, like I said, I wish it just a little bit bigger. But all right, guys, that's going to be it for the Kershaw Tinder. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. We'll see you on the next video.